So you've seemingly tried all the antihistamines out there, Claritine, Telfast, Zyrtec, and they just haven't worked. Well, don't give up hope because we've got a new antihistamine on the market called Bilistine. Today, we'll go through everything you need to know about Bilistine before you start taking it. Let's get into it. Bilistine is an antihistamine used for hay fever, also known as allergic rhinitis, and it's also used for itchy skin rashes. It's categorized as a less sedating antihistamine as it's less likely to make you drowsy than one of the sedating antihistamines. Children under the age of 12 shouldn't take it. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, have any kidney problems, or take any supplements and medications, particularly diltiazem, cyclosporin, ketoconazole, or erythromycin, make sure you speak to your healthcare professional. Take one tablet daily with a glass of water when you need it for your allergies. It should be taken on an empty stomach and that means at least an hour before or two hours after you have your food or fruit juice, particularly if you're having grapefruit juice. You take it when you've got the symptoms and when your allergies are gone, you can stop taking it. It doesn't need to be taken continuously. Bilistine is quite well tolerated, but some of the side effects include headache, dizziness or drowsiness, although it is commonly known to be non-drowsy. Less common, you might find you get stomach upset, fast or irregular heartbeat, and ringing in the ears. If you develop an allergic reaction, including symptoms such as rash, itchy skin, shortness of breath, wheezing, difficulty breathing or swallowing, swelling of the face, lips, tongues, or other parts of the body, fainting or collapsing, then make sure you call emergency straight away. As this medication is relatively new, if you do experience any other side effects, it's important to report these as well. Speak to your pharmacist who will be able to help you with this. As with most other antihistamine tablets, you should be stored in a cool dry place at a temperature of below 30 degrees Celsius. Try to keep it away from direct sunlight or anywhere damp. Everyone reacts differently to the antihistamine tablets. You might find this one works better, or you might find one of the other one works better. It's all dependent on the person. You need to try it for at least a week to see if it works for you. So that comes to the end of our video. If you found this information useful, then please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.